Well, good morning, everyone. Quick forecast update for you. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. Severe weather potentially uh, could occur this afternoon, so it's time to discuss those details for you. Radar here into motion. It is early in the morning, folks, at 6.14 a.m. Eastern time. That's 5.14 Evansville time uh, as I'm recording this. We've got some showers moving into the area right now, and uh, that may increase in coverage a little bit this morning, but notice this break in action out to our west. Lack of cloud cover, noticeable lack of uh, anything here. As that works in, that could uh, give us some sunshine for several hours here, and uh, that, of course that would destabilize our atmosphere a little bit, so that would be something that would lead to some potentially strong storms tonight we'll keep an eye on that will this fill in with uh, clouds or will we stay under that sunshine it's just one of those things we'll have to track but right now we're on track for some sunshine later this afternoon the way things look to me here's the ongoing convection out to our west from some severe storms you can even see some warnings as the loop goes into motion here um, but um, by and large this won't move through our way until later this afternoon is something that we will keep an eye on it we're already fairly warm here at 6.15 in the morning. We are uh, showers in the area, but we are still in the upper 50s and low 60s around the area. going to be a warm day today. In fact, we're going to push into the 70s very easily this afternoon. SPC outlooks, we have an enhanced risk now uh, that covers basically from southwest Indiana on down. And an enhanced risk used to be what we call the upper end slight risk. Uh, the, the Storm Prediction Center has changed the names on a little thing. But slight risk area-wide and enhanced risk for those of us, say, from about Du Bois County and to the west from the way things look. And here's where the way it shakes out. Let's look at tornado probabilities. 5% tornado probabilities for a good chunk of southern Indiana, 2% for the rest. Um, I don't think this is overstating the case. Uh, we will have a good change in wind direction as you head up from the surface up into the atmosphere. I don't see this being a, uh, a major, major, major player today. I think hail and, and, um, and straight line winds would be a bigger threat today. However, the tornado whisk certainly can't be ruled out. I understand why they went with the 5%, though I think the better uh, better parameters for that would probably be down here over Missouri. I'm not sure if that will extend as far into us or not. We'll see. Um, here's the way it shakes out as far as wind, and you can see a 30%. Again, that's the enhanced risk, the old upper end slight risk, as we called it, extending here into southwest Indiana. And then your hail probabilities. Uh, really, it's just a 15% risk for all of us. You've got to go just a little bit to our west to get into that upper end risk. So that's the way things shake out. But again, this is going to be a potentially rough uh, day for us if we get some sunshine. Here's the way the high resolution NAM sees it. There's that early morning convection that moves out. We get a break in the action, potentially even some sunshine. Uh, the high res NAM wants to take that blob of rain that's out to our west and blow it up into a line of potentially severe thunderstorms. Uh, it's consistently been showing this for a few days, so that's something that we will keep in mind. Uh, but we'll see. Right now, though, the main event, uh, because it has not only the, it, it, well, it, this has the better wind energy with it, will be what arrives late over late tonight. And this looks to arrive maybe somewhere around midnight, give or take a couple of hours on either side. So uh, it looks like a late evening to the early overnight hours is what we're going to be dealing with, with the biggest threat right now. From what most of the models are saying, this uh, early afternoon, this would be about 4 o'clock. Uh, this is something only the, the high-res NAM is showing right now. And let me show you that because if I go back to some of the other models, uh, there's that moves out and you can see, well, here's uh, some of the afternoon hours. There's the blow-off moving through from what it is today. And it's just, it's not organized or anything. It's just some shower activity. You don't get organized until with the uh, NMM here until you get later into the evening. Uh, this is about 9 o'clock right here. So you can see a little bit of a difference there with that. ARW also very similar uh, during the afternoon hours. It's just some localized cells here and there. Nothing too organized. Um, and you don't get the more organized linear fashion until late at night. So that's something that we'll keep an eye on, folks, uh, but we're just going to have to track it on radar as we see it. But really from, you know, late in the afternoon onward, that's whenever we would have the chances for severe weather. Better chances as we get later into the evening is the way I'm thinking right now. Temperatures very warm today. High temperatures, according to the high res NAM, going up to 76 around the Huntingburg area, 78 Evansville, even 71 as far north as Terre Haute. So we will all push into the 70s today. If we get some sunshine, these uh, mid to upper 70s are definitely obtainable. Right now, I went conservatively. If you go to southernindianaweather.com, click on 10 day forecast. Right now, I went conservatively with 74. Sun and clouds today. Again, some sunshine, very possible as uh, this this uh, clear slot moves through us. Scattered showers and thunderstorms this morning, but a better chance increases this afternoon after, say, 3 or 4 o'clock 
onward uh, and it's going to be very warm if we do get some extra hours of sunshine 74 yeah it may go up beyond that we will just have to see again severe storms possible tonight so just keep it tuned here to southern indiana weather on facebook and on twitter for constant updates throughout the day very windy day as well today 10 to 20 mile per hour winds at times hold on to your hats it'll be cooler tomorrow after that front's moved through but we'll have some heavy rain we are under a flash flood watch for much of the area and two to four inches of rain are very possible over the next couple of days so it's going to be a wet soggy one if you live in flood prone areas keep that in mind weekend looks nice though a little bit uh, much much drier but cooler saturday warming up again easter looks absolutely beautiful mid 60s and maybe a few afternoon clouds Rain as you begin the beginning part of next week, though. So, yeah, we just can't seem to get away from it. But, you know, bottom line today, an enhanced risk of severe weather for most of us and a slight risk for the rest of us. So keep it tuned here for details throughout the day. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite for Southern Indiana Weather. Stay safe this evening, folks, and keep it tuned right here, and I'll track these storms for you as they roll through.